Question number four asks about the distribution comparing those who passed with a score of seven or more compared to those who did not pass, which is a score of four to six. And it asks for screenshots again, including the formula bar. So we're going to go ahead and deal with that. So um, first of all, back in my Excel spreadsheet, I got rid of the graph. I could just move the graph around a little bit, but I want to be able to see column G, um, so it was a little easier just to delete it since I've already pasted that. So there are a couple of ways of getting the frequencies, but what I'm going to do is show you how you can have Excel use ranges of frequencies to be able to compile the, the histogram information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my, my uh, S score and then frequency and I'm going to type in a 6 which means anything 6 and below and a 10 which would be anything from 7 to 10. So I don't have to include every value. I can include ranges of values. Um, so if it helps you can say 4 to 6 and this can be 7 to 10. You know, if you want to put labels in anywhere you can, although that's not necessary. What's necessary is that over here you include the values that would be the upper limit of each range. So then what I'm going to do is basically the same thing that I did earlier when I inserted the formula. So I'm going to say formulas and then insert function and my frequency is already here since I used it, so I'm going to just click OK. And then under Data Array, I'm going back to my column G again, just like before, and I'm going to make sure I'm at the top, and go down to cell G101. And then hit Enter. And then my array, my bins array, is just going to be the 6 and the 10. So I select those and hit enter. Fills in what I need right here. And I'm going to click OK. And what this shows me is that there were 52 scores that were 6 and below, basically 52 people who did not pass. And I want to copy or, well, click and drag down to the 10 to select come back up here to the formula bar and click and then control shift enter on a Windows machine or command return on a Mac to be able to fill that down. So here it shows me 48 people passed, 52 people did not pass, which is actually pretty consistent with the pass rate for remediation in math on our campus. Um, so that gives me the data that I want. I'm going to select that information, copy it, and paste it into the worksheet. And then go back to the spreadsheet and click where it shows the 52. And again, if I click on the formula bar, it's going to get rid of my little set notation. So I need to do a screenshot either with a uh, command shift 4 on a Mac or print screen or you can use an alternative program like I'm using now with my screen hunter program and then paste that into the appropriate box and that's it.